Now, finally, we're going to look at the formula for our regression line. And the regression line is essentially the line of best fit between our two sets of data, the number of staff and the rate of production. Now, when we calculate A and B for the regression line, that corresponds to a straight line graph formula of the form Y equals A plus BX. So we're going to calculate A, we're going to calculate B, and then we'll have information about the Y axis intercept and the gradient of the straight line of best fit between these two sets of data. Let's first of all calculate A and B, and then we'll look at that again. So first of all, when we're calculating A and B, the first thing that I want you to observe is that the denominator, or the number on the bottom of each of those fractions is going to be exactly the same, because the formula on the bottom of each of those fractions is identical. It means we only have to do the calculation once. So first of all, for A, the first term on the top of the fraction is the sum of Y. Now the sum of y basically just means we're taking all of our y pieces of data in the production column and we're adding them together. So we've already calculated that value to be 1006. The second term is the sum of the x squared values. And second from the right, we already have a column with the x squared values. And this term is the sum of those values. So at the bottom of the column, we see that value as 2454. 2, 4, 5, 4. And from that, we're subtracting the sum of all of our x values, or all of our number of staff added together, which came to 110, multiplied by the sum of all of our xy data. Well, xy is our third column from the right. We multiplied our x data by our y data. And the sum of all of those is the number that's at the bottom, the 22207. On the bottom of that fraction, we have n, the number of bits of data, which is 5, times the sum of all of the x squared data. We've already seen this on our second column from the right. 2, 4, 5, 4, minus the sum of all our x data, then squared. Well, we have a column for our x data, or our staff column. The sum of that column is 110, but we need to square 110. So keeping the top and bottom of our fraction separate, I'm going to calculate the answer for the top of the fraction. And that comes out to be 25954. And the calculation for the bottom of that fraction gives me an answer of 170. Therefore, my value of A is 25954 divided by 170, which is 152.7. That's our value for A. Now let's do our calculation for B. Now we already know that the bottom of that fraction is going to equal 170, so we're not going to need to recalculate that. But the top of our fraction, we have n, which we've said is 5, times the sum of the xy column, which we've said is 2, 2, 2, 0, 7, minus the sum of the x column, which we've said is 110, and the sum of the y column which we've said is 1006. And the bottom is 170. The top of our fraction then, running those numbers through the calculator, comes out to be 375. 375 divided by 170 gives us a value of B equal to 2.2 .2 to one decimal place. So in our formula that's highlighted in the bottom left hand corner, y equals a plus bx, we know that a is 152.7 and b is 2.2. But what does that actually mean for our data? We're just going to produce a quick sketch of the xy scatter plot to see what these values of a and b actually represent. OK, so right at the start, we talked about how the manager of this production company wanted to see how the number of staff affected production. And we said that staff was our X column of data and production was our Y column of data. I'm just gonna abbreviate that to PR. Now, when we've calculated the formula for the regression line, we've found the value of A to be 152.7. Well, the value of A is the Y axis intercept here, 152.7. 
and we found the value of b to be 2.2. Well, b is the gradient. Now, we don't really know what our scales are here, but what we know is that that's a positive gradient. So we have a line with a positive gradient like so. Now, in reality, our data would be scattered either side of that line. That regression line is the line of best fit amongst that data. But at least now we're able to visually see that there is a positive correlation between increasing the number of staff and the overall rate of production. Now, in the next video, we're going to look at how we can use a software package such as Excel in order to simplify this whole process. But it's important to know where these values of A and B come from. I understand that this tutorial has probably been quite heavy going, but I want to thank you for listening and taking the time to watch the video.